se vale el monero. The endoderm is the layer that is the origin and it will be transformed in the development with our visceral system. So all the visceral system comes, comes from the endodermic layer. The visceral system is connected no, with two important things. With nutrition. For example, when we are in the uterus, the food comes to the umbilical cord directly, directly to, the, to the viscera. Correct. After we are born, we <coughs> breathe and the air goes through the lungs feeding the body with oxygen, giving life to the body outside the, the mother's uterus. So the visceral is, is fed by air and by food. That's the relationship of the endoderm, visceral system, with the world. Mm. So this brings, this is, this is objective anatomical thing. You know? And this brings us to also to the subjective level. How, how is that? During pregnancy, if the mother eats good food, the baby receives good, good food. If the baby receives good food, he feels good. Correct? <coughs> okay. After birth, if the mother give good milk, the baby feels good. If the mother, if the air is good, the baby feels good. <laughs> so, the first uh, knowledge for good or bad comes through how, which kind of food we receive. If the mother do not give good milk to the baby, the baby don't feel good. So the body of the baby is learning what is good and what is bad. If it is good, I feel good and quiet. If it's not good, I feel maybe agitated or bad. So, good and bad is the deep, deepest feeling we have from the beginning. A little bit more. If the baby, if the, if the food is good, <coughs> it means that my mother is good. If the, if the food is bad, it means that my mother is not good. In the beginning, it's simple like that. No? Simple like that. 
So I love my mother if the food is good. I hate my mother if the food is bad. So in the beginning, it's very simple and very, uh, very uh, crude. crude. え、そう、そうやってかもう、あの、向き立ちの状態で。え、あの意味、それは残虐かもしれない。during the process of development, we are going to learn that sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, sometimes it's good. But we expect that most of the time is good. And not uh, most of the time bad. We expect good. Most of the time. So, the Endoderm or the visceral level is connected with a certain emotional equilibrium. No? It means uh, it is good, I am quiet, I am nice. It's not good, I am not quiet. It's not nice. So, if it's not good, I lose equilibrium. If it's good, I am equilibrated. Hmm? Just to make an association here. I'm feeding you now. If it is good, you feel good. <laughs> if it's not good, you don't feel good. That's my challenge. So, <laughs> yeah? If I look at you in a way that you can look at me, maybe you feel good. Because this is also feeding. So, if you look at me interested, you are feeding me. With good food, I feel good. If 50% sleep, maybe I will be agitated. <laughs> yes, simple like that. And direct like that. Yes? So, the endoderm or the mesoderm, no? is connected with equilibrium. With how, how centered you feel. So the concept here is concept of centering. And is connected with deep, deep and strong emotions. So you say, when, I, when you say, I don't feel good here, it means something strong is going on. You have a question? No. Okay, is that clear about endoderm? So, so every time we talk about endoderm, we talk we are talking about emotional emotions, and we're talking about feeling centered or not. Now, the mesoderm. The mesoderm. In the future. From, for the baby, it will become the muscular system, the, the skeletal system, and the heart, and blood circulation. 
Because the heart is a muscle. It's not an organ of the viscera. It is inside, but the heart is a muscle. So it's connected to mesoderm. It's a muscle that pulsates like every other muscle in the body. Okay, so mesoderm it will become muscles, muscles. What is the function of muscles? Action. Action. Action and movement. Correct? So, the mesoderm is connected to action and movement. It will be connected how the baby pulsates inside the uterus. To be born. So there is all this movement inside the uterus. No? Uh, after is how the baby mo moves first with arms, legs, how how he communicates with his body, with the body of the mother, embracing the mother while he's being fed. No? And then after how to move the head, how to sit down, how to stand up. No? So the muscles and the skeletal system, they have a direct relation no? with gravity. Gravity towards the mother. And after, during the years of separation from the mother, the baby will transfer the relationship that he had with the mother's body to the earth's body. So the body of the mother is the first grounding. Then the grounding is transferred to the ground. Of the and the relationship of the body with the ground, depending on how is dealt on education, it will develop a good or a bad grounding relationship. So if, if you develop a good relationship with your movements and gravity and ground, you, it's, it's easy or difficult to walk around, for example. To dance. To go close to someone, to go away from someone, to feel more free in the body like this. So, the mesoderm, the muscles, are connected in how you position it, your body, in the world. So, the body posture speaks a lot about how you move, how you act, and how you feel 
when you move and how you feel when you wake. This is the measure time. And then the third and last one. It's called the ectoderm. The ectoderm. Uh, it will develop to be to be your nervous system. Your five senses. So all your central nervous system, your autonomic nervous system, and the five senses are connected to the ectoderm. The ectoderm is the most uh, superficial layer, superficial in the sense of being the most outside from the body. The deepest one is the visceral, after the muscle, and after the ectoderm. No? And the function of the ectoderm is to transfer inform information from inside to the outside. So your expression is on the exterior is an ectodermic expression. And also the ectoderm is from where I collect information from the, ex from the exterior. So ectoderm is a bridge between in and out. Yes? So here, and the, and the concept of the ectoderm, it's what we call in English face facing. Which means how we face the world. Not only in the way of looking, but in the way of how we perceive the world. So we have three concepts, important concepts. Centering, connected with the viscera. Grounding, connected with the muscles. And facing, connected with the nervous system. And five senses. Facing. Uh, no. How they connect to each other? Because they are not separate, they are all together. <laughs> no? It works more or less like that. When I eat, my endoderm receives the food. It receives the food. And it does like that, and it metabolizes the food, transforms the food in body, in body, in organic uh, material. Yes. What is good? The endoderm metabolizes. What is not good eliminates. Yes? So when the endoderm metabolizes, from the endoderm, the metabolized food goes to the mesoderm. The mesoderm receives this, fo this food and through the movement distributes to the body. Yes? And from this distribution of the body, it feeds the ectoderm, the most superficial layer. So if you eat properly, 
Your muscles feel good. And you have a good expression. If you eat uh, bad food, <laughs> you metabolize and this goes to the muscles. <laughs> you don't feel good <laughs> and your expression <laughs> is not so <laughs> good. <laughs> Simple like that. <laughs> so this is one way. <laughs> eat from <laughs> inside out. Well, eating from outside in is like so, that. If I look at you and I see those nice so, faces looking at me, so, the food comes through my ectoderm. So, I sensorially I metabolize this, it goes to my muscles in the sensational level and then goes deep into my endoderm and I feel good, not, not contracted, I feel okay. But if you all look at me with anger, I will be tense. My muscles will be like that. My belly will be tense. And I will be careful. For example, this is the how it changes, you know? Correct. Yes. It's easy to understand, no? This way. So when we work with the endoderm, we are working with emotions. When we work with mesoderm, we are, we are working with movement and action. When we work with ectoderm, we are working with thinking, images, and sensations. Some people need mesodermic work. Some people need emotional work. For example, you that fainted, you need emotional work. <laughs> and some people need sensorial work. Wake up consciousness. For example, meditation is very ectodermic. To bring consciousness, light, very ectodermic. Judo is very mesodermic. Learn how to use your body. No? And uh, eating is very endodermic. <laughs> how you eat? So, just to finish, in the body there is a communication between these, these, three, these three places of the body, which we call the bridges of communication. No? For example, ectoderm is more centered in the head. Mesoderm is centered in the viscera, and mesoderm is muscles. The muscles, your members, they move. The members, 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 legs and arms. No, when they don't work, usually where is the problem? If you cannot walk, where is the problem? From where comes the problem? If you cannot walk, from where comes the problem? Yes, mesoderm, but from which part of the body? 
so it's very easy. So if you have a problem in your back, you cannot Perché move. Fa, no? so ne se, se ne accadrà, So the spine controls your movement. If you have a problem here, it's difficult to move your head. If you have a problem here, it's difficult to move your arms. If you have a problem here, it's difficult to move your legs. So if you hurt your spine, you stop moving. So, so the spine is the origin of the movement. So spine origin of the movement. Visera origin of emotion. And the head is the origin of the senses and perception. So we have three parts to communicate. Head with, with emotions. Head with movement, no? movement with emotions. <coughs> so we have this triangle here. Head with emotions. Uh, head with viscera. <coughs> viscera with spine. Perception with emotions with movements. この My brain sends messages no? to my spine because I feel like moving to her. So the message goes to my spine that uh, provokes something in my muscles that makes me move to her. Okay. Uh, if somebody here is crying and I feel touched, hmm? first I sense I feel touched. This sends messages to my viscera. And then I might, maybe I get in touch with my emotions. And my emotions moving, maybe I breathe more, and this sends message to my spine, and makes me move to, get, to be close to this person that is crying. So there is a whole sequence of movements in the body no? that communicates one part or the other. Some people are too emotional. Some people are too rational. And some people move, move too much. No? We need to equilibrate this. And to equilibrate this, we need to work in the bridges to communicate with the other parts of the body. Mm? So usually to communicate my sensations to my movement, I must go through my neck. Because if I, if I have a hard uh, neck muscle, It blocks the communication. Mm? If I want to communicate my senses with my emotions, I must go through my throat. Because it's through the throat that I cry or I am angry. And I breathe also. So that, for example, somebody's crying, I breathe in, so I bring inside me the feelings I am seeing there. 
And maybe this makes you feel something. It might be anger to not only cry, any emotion. If I, if I see there is a big fear around here,